Hello, hello. So I have decided I've, I've prayed about this and I've thought on it and um, I just feel this is something that I need to do. So um, I'm starting a new devotion and what I'm going to do is make a video um, every Sunday if I can or if not I'll, I'll make one earlier. But I'm going to go through devotion for uh, every week for 60 weeks because this is a this is the 60 promises to pray over your children it's a new devotion that i got and you know as a christian mother i feel that our most important job and mission is to pray over our children to lead them up uh for them to know god to know jesus and to do the very best so <clears throat> i want to read the uh, introduction here and it says a message to parents it says as a Christian you undoubtedly understand the power of prayer and as a parent you know the importance of praying for your child this book provides 60 prayers that address topics that are vitally important to you and your youngster the text also contains timely quotations from notable Christians and timeless promises from God's holy word God has made many promises to you and to your child. The Lord's promises are eternal and unchanging. But in today's fast-paced world, circumstances can be so demanding and situations so confusing that it's easy to forget God's blessings and His mercy. This book is intended to remind you of the joy and the abundance that the Lord offers to all His children, including yours. So as a concerned parent living in the 21st century, you already know that your child inhabits a world that is brimming with temptations and distractions. And I'm just going to add, I did not know until the school year uh, began how much distractions you think, like, uh, you know, my son uh, was in kindergarten last year and you think, he was exposed to so much that blew my mind and it really... Um, you know, put me for a loop, and I had to stand firm in prayer uh, over him. And this year, you know, he'll be enter entering first grade. So I want to do this throughout this whole year, and because it will take a year to do, but I just feel this is important because our children is one of our most important things um, that we'll ever have. So it says, despite your best efforts, you simply can't protect your youngster from every spiritual trap and every physical danger. And that's where God comes in. Nothing is impossible for him. And when you ask for his help and his guidance, he'll respond in miraculous ways. So take heart and have faith. And when, your prayer, when you pray for your children, you're fulfilling a profound parental duty. And remember this, there's absolutely no challenge not even the critically important challenge of caring for your kids that you and God working together can't handle. You know, nothing is impossible with God. Um, I What I'm going to be doing, if you don't have a prayer journal, uh, you can, you know, get one. You can buy one like even at uh, the dollar store. But what I do, like starting with this, I've always kept a prayer journal along with a regular journal. But what I'm going to be doing is like week one of uh, the 60 promises to pray for children. I'm going to put week one, it's abundance. And um, so let me start out by going into it. Hang on. So this week one's abundance. And what I'm going to do, this is the scripture for today. It's Psalms out of Psalms 23. But there's other scripture, and I'm going to do one scripture every day, uh, not a video, but just in the comments, add like day two uh, scripture, you know, because this is all going to be under week one, and you can write this down in your prayer journal, study over it, pray over it, uh, apply it to your life um, and your you and your children through the week. So the week one, what we're focusing on is abundance the promise of abundance. So the scripture is, my cup runs over, surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, 
and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Psalms 20 through 23, 5 through 6. Um, so I want to add before I go into that, um, I looked up the definition of abundance, a very large quantity of something, the state or condition of having a copious quantity of something, plentifulness, plentifulness of the good things of life, prosperity. Now, the spiritual meaning of abundance, a state where nothing is lacking and so complete that nothing can diminish it. Um, that's abundance to me. That's that internal peace that we have, no matter what we go through. The enemy, nobody can take it away. It cannot diminish it. So remember that. Um, so I put down here, Lord, thank you for your gift of salvation. I find abundance in my eternal peace that you have so graciously given to me. Um, so week one, I'm going to read all of Psalms 23 because in my prayer journal, I wrote it all. Let's see here. Um, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside still waters. He restoreth my soul. He guides me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. And even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. You prepare us a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You have anointed my head with oil. My cup overfloweth. Surely, goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. And over here in my this prayer journal that I got, I'm going to read this. It says, you are confronted again and again with the choice of letting God speak or letting your wounded self cry out. And although there has to be a place where you can allow your wounded part to get attention it needs, your vocation is to speak from the place in you where God dwells. You know, God is always with you, even in any situation. That's the abundance of his blessings on us. So, um, let me go into what the devotion says. It says, I thank you, dear Lord, for your abundance. You have blessed my family in so many ways. And I pray that my children will receive your abundance. And I pray that they will be grateful for your blessings. Today, Father, I pray that my family will claim the joy that comes from the knowledge that your love is eternal. We will praise you, Lord, for your grace. I am grateful for the abundant life that Jesus promised Grant me the wisdom to claim Christ's blessings and to share them with my children. And lead me, Lord, on your path today, tomorrow, and every day of my life. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. You know, that's our greatest thing, um, is to show our children Jesus. To uh, not just take them to church, which is so it's which is so important. But, you know, church begins with us at home. It's a Sunday through Sunday ordeal. Every day of the week and the hours of the day. You know, we start out our day every morning. And sometimes little ones are grumpy. But I still push through. There's been times I've wanted to throw my hand up. But I know that his soul is the most important thing that I can work on and I want to lead him in the right way because like this says the world is so tempting now and there's so much so much that they're they're pushing on little ones confusing them um it's unreal I, I don't speak situations like that I don't talk about things like that you know um but you know yeah, I have opinions, <laughs> and I keep them to myself. Um, but, you know, my greatest job is to protect my child from all this evil that's going on. All this brainwashing, all this confusion, um, you know, that which their Bible, you know, foretells of all this stuff to happen, you know, in the days, in the last days, um, you know, right will be called wrong and uh, wrong will be wrote right. And it's happening all around. Uh, sin is just prideful about it, thriving. And, you know, 
Uh, our Bible mentions several times in Scripture, pride goes before destruction. Uh, God does not like, he despises a prideful heart. And um, so we need to, to teach our children the best we can uh, to protect them from all this stuff. And um, let's see, I'm going to move over to the last page. And like I said, I will post these days throughout this week the scripture you can write in your prayer journal pray over it study over it apply it to your life but at the end it says about abundance god loves you and wants you to experience peace and life abundant and eternal this is billy graham the man who lives without jesus is the poorest of the poor whereas no one is so rich as the man who lives in his grace this is thomas a kempis and the last one, we honor God by asking for great things when they are a part of his promise. We dishonor him and cheat ourselves when we ask for molehills where he has promised mountains. That's Vance Havner. Um, so today and this week, think of the abundance that God has so graciously given you. Um Apply it to your life. Share it with your children. Uh, claim it because he promises so much. And, you know, our Bible is our instruction manual. It is our greatest sword in life. Um, and, you know, get in it and read it. Uh, sometimes, you know, if you're new to reading the Bible, it can be hard. But the, I assure you, the more you get in it, the more you read, the more you study, God will reveal things to you so sometimes you have to read things over and over and sometimes you can read it over and over and he'll give you new insight so i hope that this uh blesses you in some way and um you and your family and um uh, from one christian mom to another i'm praying for you you know uh, we live in trying times so um this just reach out and be encouraging this pray over each other our children and god surround us with a protection like no other give us that peace lord these 60 promises i hope that this will help everyone so i hope god blesses you and keeps you safe and i will talk to y'all next time